Hi, I'm Alice. I'm Lenny. And we are taking part in DMU's social media detox. And that started today at 9am. In order to prepare, we put all of our social media apps on a completely different screen from everything else because I didn't want to have to log back into them at the end. Yeah, I've turned all the notifications off mm -hmm. and I'm not going to lie, it's literally been, what time is it, like one o'clock? So it's been like so four I've been hours? In, yeah, I've had four hours of lab, so it's not been too tempting because... I'm doing work. Yeah. We went to do the news for Demon FM before and I didn't remember the login and couldn't just message the news like producer guy because I didn't have Facebook or his phone number. I didn't have his phone number so I had to text two other people to try and get it. <laughs> just to clarify, we are allowed to use our phones, like we yeah. can ring people and text people. However, I can't message my parents, I can't talk to my parents at all because they're in Egypt, so it would cost me a yeah. lot of money to text them. You can't talk to your I parents. I can't talk to my parents or your family. they are obviously like in the Channel Islands, which is further away, so they have like different numbers and it's international. So my phone doesn't let me call places um, like that. But we are allowed to text people. I thought the biggest issue was going to be like bored. Yeah. But it's but the fact it's that not. I can't talk to anyone. It's the productivity one that we're annoyed at. Yeah. Ashton's making a group chat on Facebook Messenger to talk about Nastas, which is a TV conference which happens sort of in a couple of months. And she's added us to it, but we're not going to be able to see You're it. You're literally obviously. sat next to me and <laughs> asked you the question. The only thing you're missing out on is the fact that I've made a group We're going to miss out on all the banter. We always banter at the beginning of a group chat. Like when a group chat is made, is when it is the most banterous. And we're missing it. Thanks for that. No, but also, everything you've got on any social media, you look at me like I've just killed a cat. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I can do to make you feel better. So it's been a couple of days without social media, and the thing that I've been doing to get around not being able to message people is using texts. However, I realised yesterday that whenever I've sent people an emoji, my phone has changed it to a question mark. Yeah, so she was trying to say something to me yesterday, and I was like, why are you questioning this? Yeah, and then someone else said to me this morning, they were like, why do you keep sending question marks? I was like, oh... Yeah, sorry about that. I literally use emojis all the time, yeah. so it's really It pains me, me when I have to send an email and I can't use emojis, yeah. so I have to try and be professional. But, but I think that's another big thing that has been like, because we can only text people, yeah. is that I don't have that constant, oh, they've read my message, but they've not replied, or they've been online, but they've not replied. Yeah. It's kind of a little bit more relaxed, but at the same time, I, I want it, to know I that know. they've I want to know that they've read it. Yeah. I'm like constantly in two minds about it. Yeah, and we yeah. have someone who keeps coming up to us being like, oh, have you seen my Instagram? Oh, oh wait, wait, no, you no, can't. You can't. I'm like, thanks, thanks for that. We don't want to cheat. We're not using But how do I know that? How do anyone know that? Because we're not someone, even seeing someone, if we're online. Someone, I don't understand. Someone needs to make sure. He keeps saying that he's making sure we're not using social media. I'm not cheating. I've come this far. I'm not going to use it. Just making sure. Just making sure. There has to be an independent adjudicator on these things. And if we were, How are you, you making sure? I don't know. Just check me. Just, just if we were, asking us. If we were using it, Rob, what would you do? I don't know. Tell whoever's in charge. <laughs> Tell you failed. Thank you. Good job. So some people had told me that they thought this digital detox was a bit like fake because we're still using our phones and our computers and I was like well I can't do my course without my computer um, or anything like that and they were saying but you're still texting people and things like that well I've just come back from like going to the cinema so it's like it's late it's like half eleven and my phone died as I was walking home so I couldn't ring anyone or talk to anyone whilst I walked home which is quite scary when it's like really dark and anything could happen. Um, I feel very safe living in Leicester, but at the same time, walking home alone without being able to ring anyone or get in contact with anyone is kind of terrifying. So I'm kind of glad I am allowed to text people because I just got back after kind of sprinting home. Um, and I just think that we do rely on social media quite a lot and it's the way I get in contact with most people. But if anyone says that not having our phones still is kind of cheating then I honestly couldn't do a lot of things I want to do in life it makes me feel more free so today we are doing uh, filming for Demon TV which is part of the Demon Media the student media group and I'm producing something we're all here we're filming on campus which is really handy and convenient um, and I've not been able to organize anything because I can't use messenger I can't have any group chats on anything because all I can do is text so I've just been texting the director like do they know this do they know this so it's been quite stressful seeing if people are going to show up and everything's going to go to plan so that's kind of been my biggest issue I think not having social media is not being able to organize anything or talk to anyone today's the day I'm so excited <laughs> we get our social media back what time is it um it's about half ten and so, we get it back at four. Yes, yeah, so we've got like maths. <laughs> like five and, and a half hours? Yeah. But um, to be honest, like, although I'm excited to get it back, I feel like if I needed to, 
I could do it for longer. Yeah, I 100% could do it for longer, but at the same time, I don't want to. No. <laughs> It has been kind of nice not having to reply to people. I've kind yeah. of had a nice excuse to be like, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm on detox. Yeah, um, we've been almost like able to have more time to ourselves and not feel guilty about it because mm -hmm. you don't like see messages coming through and have to be like, oh, I should it. reply to that. Yeah. yeah. I, f I think I've slept slightly better mm. because I've not been up like distracted by my yeah. social media, which has probably been the biggest thing that why I shouldn't use it. Yeah. Alice is an election and normally occasionally like message on Facebook or something because you know you've got your laptop out and you can write and we found a way to get around that it is the last day of the detox so we're nearly over but um we're writing our google doctor plan for our radio show we're doing this evening and we're both typing on the same thing so we can talk to each other and I'm not going to say it's social media because it's like google docs that like, yeah we're talking to each other but you do work on that so we found another way around it <laughs> okay so it's half past four yeah. Which means you guys can you use your social media, social media again. So I'm going to go on my notifications. Basically what I did was I put all my social media right this side. Mm. So I I've couldn't see them and all my notifications were turned off and I'm about to turn them all back on. Again. And do, are, you, are you missing it? Um, I missed a little it. part of me doesn't want to turn them back on because I feel like I'm going to have to face like, some responsibility. Um, yeah, I can't even find all I've time. kind of enjoyed it because it's felt like I've had like a little holiday but also been really stressed because I can't do anything. YouTube is a massive one because that's what we like spend time, like yeah. passing time, like oh we could watch a video, I'm like oh we can't. And like for our course sometimes we'll have to yeah. watch YouTube videos for like tutorials and stuff and we can't watch them. I've already got notifications. I've got 233 on. notifications on my social media. <sighs> oh my god. That's what I have. You've got 86 on Facebook. Five Snapchats, 19 Messenger. Which is just how many chats have been I've active, got, yeah. not even how many messages I've got. I've and got six, six on Instagram, now. which I don't talk to anyone on Instagram, so I don't know how that's happened. Yeah, I don't know why 13 I've got on Instagram WhatsApp, ones. which again, I don't use. Five on LinkedIn. I've got quite a few on Pinterest, which is ironic because I've never used Pinterest either. We all do most of our messaging on Facebook, so yeah. it's been really annoying for me to have to text you. It's been yeah. really annoying for me We've to have to text, text people. We've had to ask our housemates to text people or like message people on group chats because we just can't do it. I think and I have 19 under We thought it made us more social, it just made us more creative. I would do it again, but I would probably try and make it a time where people wouldn't need to talk to me as much. Yeah. I Maybe recommend people to do it. Like, I would recommend people to do it, but do it in a time where you feel like it's going to be okay to not see messages, like, if you're not reliant on yeah. something. So we've had our social media for about four hours, yeah, and it's like half seven now. And right now we're in the BBC studios because we are currently doing a radio show with them, like a student radio show, which is insane really fun. and really cool. Um, and we are doing, um, we're talking tonight about the social media detox we're doing, but we've been so um, caught up in planning our show that we haven't even used social media that much. Like no, I don't I even either. miss scrolling, turning on all notifications and getting all of our messages come through. Just stressed me I out. I was like, I don't want to talk to them. I've got about 20 chats. Yeah. Around 20. I've got a lot Same. of messages from my sister saying, I know you have social media again, reply to me. I just don't have time right now. Yeah, like I don't even miss like scrolling. No. But I know I need to reply to messages. I've just been so yeah. busy that I actually wish I was still on the detox, so I had an yeah. excuse not to so reply. It'd be fine to have me not replied yet. But turning it back on, it's kind of made me realise that I really don't actually miss it as much yeah. as I thought because I don't feel the need to. As long as I'm busy, it's fine. Then it's fine. I think I'm probably going to do it again, but I don't know when. Maybe in the summer when yeah. we don't have to reply to messages as exactly. much. Exactly. 